Hello, pre-algebra, and welcome to lesson 8.5. We're now going to add a new element to solving our equations. Um, uh, solving a two-step equation. It's not going to look like a normal two-step equation, at least not at first, because we're going to have variables on either side of our equal sign. But this is what we're going to learn. We're going to go through this. We're going to just solve some basic ones. We're given the equation. And then, of course, we're going to have some verbal or word problems in which we have to write the equation and then solve it. So when we have an equation in which the variables on both sides of the equal sign, like we do here, 5.5x plus 3 equals 5x plus 6, we can... <clears throat> um, we can use addition or subtraction property of equality to write an equivalent equation with the variables on one side, and then we can solve the equation. And often, as we're going to see in some of our additional problems, we're going to be given a problem like company A charges has this charge structure, company B has that charge structure. So for instance, in this one, we might say that this one is the cost for renting a bike right, per day is $5.50 per day plus a $3 flat charge versus renting a kayak is five, uh, for five days is X plus six. And what, how we're gonna solve this is we're going to say, okay, so if X is the same number of days, right, we're gonna find a number of days in which those equal each other where it costs the same to ride, um, ride bikes as it does to rent a kayak. And it may be, right, it may be two days, it may be five days, but five days of riding a bike is the same as five days of kayaking. Now, obviously that does mean though, right, if we're thinking about this in the real world, that it may be cheaper if you're only gonna do it for one day to do one over the other. But at a certain point, right, at a certain number of days, they're going to equal each other. And so we're going to use that concept to solve this equation. So if we look at this, let's just look at it in the form of an equation with a variable on either side, which is 5.5x plus 3, oops, there we go, equals 5x plus 6. So our first goal is to get our, right, our main goal before we solve for x Right. Remember, I, I used to say that we're trying to isolate X right in our previous ones, our previous lessons. We still want to isolate X and that's a terrible thing. I'm going to fix that. We still want to isolate the X and make the X all by itself because that's what we're solving for. We're solving for X. But we now we have X's on both sides. And so our first step is to get all the X's, all of our variables on one side of the equation. Right, we want them on one side of the equation. And we can use our addition and subtraction property of equality, which means that what we do to one side, we do to the other side to, quote, move the x to the other side of the equation. So in this case, let's go ahead and start with that. Right, so if we start with that, we are going to... We're going to start with our variable. So let's start with a smaller um, coefficient to the variable, which is 5 rather than 5.5. So how do we get rid of 5x on this side? Well, we subtract 5x on this side. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Now notice that that means that this is now going to be 0 plus 6 equals, so we've gotten rid of that 5x, equals whatever this is, 5.5 minus 5, ooh, that's 0.5x plus 3 on that side. So we now have 0.5x plus 3 equals 6, and now we can subtract the 3 on this side. What we do to one side, we have to do the other side, so now we have 0.5x equals 3, and then we divide both by 0 0.5, right, to isolate that x, to get that x all by itself. And we, right, we find out that x 
equals 6. So the cost of renting a bike and renting a kayak for six days is the same. And that's what we've basically solved here. So let's look at one that's not a word problem or a couple that are not word problems and see what we can do. So some examples. Solve 3x equals x plus 8. So let's start with the variable with the smallest coefficient, which is the single x right here. So let's just subtract x. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're subtracting x from both sides, which means we're now going to have 3x minus x, 2x here. And that equals 8. Oh, see how simple that was? Now we know what to do with that. We divide by 2. Actually, it needs to be the other way. That's the wrong way to write that for division. So we'll do it the old way that I usually do. Right, we just divide by 2. X equals 4. All right, let's look at our next one. 6 over 5y plus 8 equals 4 over 5y minus 10. Again, let's start with our variables, the smallest variable, which happens to be 4 fifths y. So we're going to subtract 4 fifths y from this side. That leaves us with 0. So those cancel out. And over here, we are going to subtract 4 fifths y. Now, I'm going to write over here, because to subtract fractions, we want to write them like this, just so we can see exactly what's going on. So, 6 fifths minus 4 fifths equals, remember if our denominator is the same, we just do the, we just do the, op, the addition or subtraction that is at the top. So, 6 minus 4 equals 2, and we keep the 5 there. So, that's 2 fifths y. So let's now write that back into our equation. So our new equation is now um, over here. I'm going to write it in black. 2 fifths y plus 8 equals negative 10. Now we can deal with that plus 8. This looks a little more familiar to us. So next we're going to do that 8. Remember going in order of root. Uh, we're going in reverse order of operations, so we're going to subtract 8 from this side, and what we do to one side, we have to do to another side. So our new equation is now going to be 2 fifths y equals negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18. And... Now we have to do something about our two-fifths y. So, remember, a fraction is simply a division problem, and if you hear my daughter in the background, I apologize. Um, this is simply a, right, this is a fraction is a division problem, and so the opposite of a fraction or the opposite of division problem is multiplication. So we're going to multiply this by the reverse or inverse, I should say, fraction. So to get rid of that two-fifths on that side so that y is by itself, we're going to multiply this by 5 over 2. That's going to give us 1, right? Those are because the 5s cancel out, the 2s cancel out, leaving us with just y, which means that over here we have to multiply this by 5 over 2. And since this is negative 18 over 1, Right, we are going to have um, 18 divided by 2 is 9, right? So we can, we can um, get rid of, so to speak, that 2 by finding a common denominator. Or we could simply do 5 times 18 and then divide that by 2. Either way it works. So if we do that as 5, but whatever happens, we end up with 45 and a negative 45. So that means that y over here equals negative 
45. All right. Another verbal problem. Let's see if we can set this up. We're given a verbal or a word problem, right? And we need to set up the equation and then solve it. So a personal trainer charges a one-time fee of $60 plus $25 for each individual session. A fitness club charges a yearly fee of $450 plus $10 for each session with a personal trainer. Write and solve an equation to determine for what number of sessions the costs will be equal. So we're told that we want this to be one side equaling the other. We don't know what the total is. We just know that one side needs to equal the other. So let's set up um, our left-hand side, the personal trainer, right? If we just went with a personal trainer. So we have a one-time fee of $60 plus 25 for each session. So if we use S for session, that's $25 S, right? We don't know how many sessions we're gonna do. It's just 25 times the session. And there is a, an additional $60 flat fee. So it's $60 flat fee to, re, to just say, for the trainer to say, yes, I will train you. And then every time he trains you, it's $25. So that is our, that's the personal trainer, the equation to determine the personal trainer. Now let's determine the equation for the fitness club. They have a yearly fee. That's the same as a flat fee, a one-time fee because we're just going to worry about this taking place in a year, of $450. So there is the yearly fee, plus 10 for each session. 10 for each session. There we've set it up. Okay. So if we go to the fitness club and use their personal trainer, it's $450 for the year, plus $10 per session with a trainer. If we just have a personal trainer and he like comes to our house or we meet him at the park or whatever the case may be, then he charges 60 bucks for the year and then it's $25 for each session. So we now need to, right, we've written our equation to determine for what number of sessions the cost will be equal. And that's why we have red here. We've set it up so that how many sessions does it take for these to be equal? And now we need to solve it. So again, let's go ahead and look for our terms, our like terms. So we have 25S and 10S. We're going to take our smaller of those like terms, the 10S, and subtract it. So we're going to move, in this case, we're going to move the S to the left-hand side, or the 10S over here. So we're going to subtract, doing the opposite of addition on this side. So those cancel out. And over here now, we're going to have something new. So now over here, we're going to have 60 plus 15 S equals 450. Great. Now we got to get rid of that 60. That's a positive 60. So let's do the opposite. Let's minus 60 from both sides. That takes care of that, leaving us with simply 15 S equaling. And 450 minus 60 is... 390. And now get that S by itself, that variable S by itself. This is a multiplication, 15 times S. So we're going to do the opposite, cancel those out. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side, divide that by 15, which means that if we pop that into our calculator, S equals 26. One last example. Red Bird Cruises charges $85 per day plus a one-time fee of $75. King Cruises charges $100 per day plus a fee of $30. Write and solve an equation to determine for what number of days the charge for the cruises will be the same. So again, we know that this is going to be an equation on our left-hand side and an equation on our right-hand side with a variable on both sides because we want to know the number of days. So let's do the red bird. Ah, since it's red bird, let's go ahead and we'll just use black equal sign here. 
All right, so Redbird Cruises, they charge $85 per day. So we're going to use uh, we're going to use uh, D for day. So we have an 85 per day. That's a multiplication plus a one-time fee of $75. So 75 plus that plus 75. King Cruises, we'll use green for King Cruises, charges $100 per day. Ooh, 100D plus a fee of $30. They have a flat fee of only $30. Okay. So here we go. In this case, right, our term, our like terms, 85D, 100D, right, the smaller of those two terms happens to be on our left. So over here, we're going to, again, We'll do this in dark blue now. Um, we're going to subtract 85D from this side so that we have zero there. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So that's going to leave us with an equation of 75 equals 100 minus 85 is 15D plus 30. All right, so. We're now at 75 equals 15D plus 30. We need to now move that plus 30. We're trying to isolate D now. So now we're gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and uh, subtract 30 from this side. That makes that zero. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we now have 75 minus 30 is 45 equals 15D. Good. Now what do we do? Well, now we got to get D. We're still trying to isolate D all by itself. We have 15 Ds over here. So now we're going to do the opposite operation of that multiplication. That's a multiplication problem. We're going to do the opposite. So we're going to divide by 15 over here. And what we do to one side, we always have to do to the other. So we have uh, 15 D divided by 15. That gets rid of the 15. We're still left with a D though. And 45 divided by 15, we can pop that into our calculator. Or we can do it in our head. And that is going to be three. So our answer is, if I were to write it exactly in the same way, three equals D. I'm going to rewrite it up here though, this time in uh, blue. D equals three. So that means that the number of days, right, is three days. So if you, oops, if you do the cruise, it, so it doesn't matter. King Cruises and Redbird Cruises, the cost to you is going to be the same if you do a three-day cruise on either one. Now, it may be different if you do a four-day cruise, but we know the three-day cruise is going to cost the exact same because we've set up our problem and we have solved it. All right, that's it for this lesson. Um, check your Alex for the homework for this, and um, we will see. talk to you next time.